my YouTubers after the car boot. <laughs> got about seven, just after seven. Got ready, come out. It's quarter to not eight. So we should get there for maybe half eight, nine o'clock with the buses. So yeah, yesterday I didn't do a video because I had to go to a different travel lodge. I had to go to the Liverpool Central because one girl come and sick. I can see why she come and sick. I had 13 rooms. First 12, then 13. And there was all triple rooms. So a double, two single, double, two single. I didn't finish till half five by the time I put everything away. Yeah, that was the latest I ever finished. I know I'm slow, but phew. But yeah, so um, today I go to car boot and you can see what I get. At least when I do get somewhere, I can buy stuff. So I'll catch you a bit when we get there. All right, we're at the car boot. It's quite big. There was another one over the other side, and somebody's been taken to the ambulance. Yeah, so we came off that side. And that's where it is. Car boot. Yeah. Even the dog is a party. She, she wants to go everywhere. That's quite big. So we're gonna have a walk around. Like I said, I can't get nothing too big. So it's be good when I get my place, I can have a look. Some house clearance, some stuff to write. Fish tank, mounts. And yes, I might have a cup of tea and something to eat up here. Sometimes I get mixed up with car boots. I go the wrong way and I go the same place about six, seven times. Yep, so she's not been too bad. She's bearing herself. Yes, we're still here. She hasn't been too bad. Might have a burger and a cup of tea. There's got a few dogs, but I just watch her. And yes, so it's not too bad here. So I'll be coming here quite often when I get my place. Can pick up some bits because I don't care as long as I don't look too rough. But yeah, folks, so I'll see what I get. I don't want to get nothing too big because, like I said, it's carrying it around. So I'll just have a look if I can see anything unusual and stuff like that. It's quite a bit. There was another one up the top, a little one. I don't know if that was just the ordinary house thing. But yeah, so and I'll have to find others as well. Catch you. Well, I decided we can walk back because um, remember it's Easter Sunday and the services so I thought give it a nice walk because we just went past the PDSA so take a slower walk and um, I'll show you what in the bag I've got so you can see I don't know if you can see the dog had a toy and that was the um, cushion I was after so when I get back I'll show you all I got was um, the cat cushion Super Mario t-shirt the dog had a toy and I was looking for a, a mug with drinking chocolate they didn't have any so and yeah so I got her a harness and I tried that because she pulls a lot but yeah like I said the lady was saying well your dog was on the lead so, so like I said I got a muzzle but when you put a muzzle on the dog I think the dog's vicious which she ain't so you can't be but yeah, it wasn't bad, so when I've got a day off again, I'll go down again. It's quite good, it was. At least I can see they've got some curtains. They've got um, duvet, so that'd be good. I was just looking, there was a nice stuff to put on the wall, like a plaque. And the man said, it'd be nice on your wall. And Ellie said, I haven't got a wall to put it on. Would have been funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Saying I ain't got a wall, I ain't got anyway. <laughs> but yeah, i got a few things. I thought I'd get that cat cushion because ikea stopped doing them and i think that was a smaller version it was only 50 pence so i thought i still didn't get a jacket so i'll leave that in the bag and then when i go down they got a laundry down where where the hotel is and i might just chuck it in and wash it with some other stuff the cat bed i might do that wednesday or something and yeah folks so we're just gonna walk back and i think give her a nice walk good for her to have a nice long walk it's not to me it's not that far just take a slow walk and when I get back I'll show you what we got right 
guys I just thought I'd try the anise on her and I tell you it's much better I'm gonna show you the turn it around you can see I've got that harness at the car boot and it's doing its job it's quite easy now no more pulling because she used to pull and it was um terrible i don't know you saw me in my couple of videos when she pulled especially when i was pushing that trolley and now it's brilliant and she just saw a dog i just pulled her and the head comes over like a horse and yeah so i'll show you the harness when i get back but it's a nice walk because before i didn't enjoy the walk when she pulls and walking really good now because she's one of those dog that pulls so yes so that was a good seven pound i spent and the car boot first one right now i'm walking slowly back i like when it's like this because you can enjoy and now she not pulling it's more better right folks i'll catch you when i get back and show you what i got yes we're back all the wind and me here yes it was a nice um walk apart from that incident in the car boat like i said mine was on the lead theirs wasn't but apart from that it was all right i was glad that i went and there was another one i think it was same as that but there was another one and there was some flats there gonna be knocked down but yeah so i'm glad i got that and this is what it was I've kept all the stuff here. It was in a box. First he said it was um eight pounds, then he saw the dog, everything he said was seven pounds. And that's how the dog put that. That's how it's um, supposed to see pulling and that's how she walks. It was in a box, everything. So I just put it on. I've seen people use it. It's got the receipt, everything, the um, the card. See the card and everything. So I thought that was good for seven quid because I know they're about um because I was gonna get one from Pets at Home when I was in Birmingham I think it was 15 20 pounds and I didn't know what size and he said size four and if you see that that's them um big dog in it like the Newfoundland breed Labrador so it says there what um what breeds so yeah four and if you got a German Shepherd that pulls it was the best thing and I put it on the lead I'll show you because what it is you put it on the lead see it's like that looks like a so this um this go around the neck so that goes around the neck like a lead and then that goes around the, the mouth i'll put the video at the end you can see how easy it nice and walk so what you do you hook it up i think you're supposed to put two hooks here and you put one and then you put the two that's it two you put the two hooks and then you have this as a safety so if that does broke you've got this one as safety and i did put it so you've got this one as a safety one so if anything happens at least you've got that to hold so yeah so i'll be using that now and it's quite good and save all that because i don't know if you remember when i was trying to find somewhere to stay and live i had that trolley with the cats and remember when i was pushing on she pulled and the trolley and the cat but now and she saw a dog today she was gonna go and i pull her back so that next when I go back again, I think I might be working next week. And um, once I got some spare cash, I'll go back to the car boots. That'd be good. Because this is like foam. So it don't harm the mouth. So it's foamy. So I've got the, the muzzle. Like people said, she's um, she's not vicious with people or kids. Just dogs. She just don't like the good dog. Now I've got a muzzle. Because once I know what she was like, I went straight and got a muzzle. Because I'm a responsible dog owner. And this is the muzzle now i don't like it i only take it when i go to the vet in case because she see dog and that but the reason i don't like it is when the dog mouth is in there they can't open so it's just then she's breathing breathing but with this you can see on the video she can open her mouth so she can breathe open or she can have a drink or she can like to sniff but with this the mouth is like that and she can't breathe so it's it's literally just making her like that but with that other one she can she's got free c if you got if you're a dog and you got that that's just like that you can't even open you might you're just breathing through here but with this one you put that through that's the back of the neck you put that and she's got 
that will um pull so you if she's pulling you pull and it pulls the head and it pulls and she can breathe and her mouth can be open not tight so i like that so because when i was walking back i thought i'll try it and see and as you can see in the picture it um shows you the mouth open but with that one and then they show you but that one they put there but i just put safety in case i think that one you just put it back up on there i don't think you put i don't think you put it on the hook i think you just put it back i don't know if it's safety wait i don't know if you're supposed to put it back like that but then if that goes i don't know if you're supposed to put it like that but if that broke off that i'll just put it like that make it safety and yeah so i'm glad i got it the seven pound best let's put it there yeah like i had it and i got this for 50 pence that's when um the incident the woman who sold this said oh you shouldn't bring your dog it's a vision you should know and that and i thought it was 50 pence and ikea used to sell these but i wanted one never found it so i got that i thought yeah with the cat the cat can sit because she sits on you but i'll have to take it and wash it first because um the cats look upside down then yeah that's better and that cat they used to sell it in ikea for 350 i think but she's 250 and i thought when i get me a place i can just chuck it on the chair the cat and the laundry down here is four pound for wash so i might just take it and give it a wash so i got that for 50p i thought that was good the cat's ones yeah and then the woman gave me the toy because she was feeding the dog and so we got that for the dog So that one is like a little so you can play with that so I'll with that but yeah she can play with that now that's it she's playing with that and she had she had some freebies and she had another one one of these as well a little toy the cat didn't get i didn't see anything much for the cat so i'll take that off pull that and the dog's got that she never play with um a little bin down there it's good for her to pull so yeah so she's got a few things so she, that, that that was free that was free so she had two free stuff for the dog and then all i got was this because i thought when i s sleep at night i can just throw that on to sleep at super mario and that was two pounds so i thought i'll get that as well so yeah and that'd be so much to put i'm gonna wash it and then just chuck it at night because what i do i sleep with the top me leggings and when i get up in the morning to go work i just change my clothes and that I don't bother because I've got no pajamas, so I just um do that. I was looking for a new because I've got my gothic pajamas with um ghost and what was the other one? I think it was um PlayStation one, I think because I've got this. I wear this, you can see in this one, yeah. So that's it. So that's what I've got. There was some other stuff I saw, but there was a bit big stuff, and I thought, well, no, but yes, I'm super happy with this. So this. <laughs> is gonna be brilliant relax to walk it's nice when you got walking the dog and it's relaxed because that's what i have and when she pulls this doesn't do so what i'm gonna do is um carry this with me if i see one of them blokes with the dog the homeless i might give them to it because I, I won't be using that again so i might just say do you want that for your dog and because it's no good because it just it doesn't do anything she pulls so that one's but this is brilliant so if you've got a dog that pull and they are expensive but when he said seven quid i was i was hesitant i nearly didn't get it and i thought i'll try it and so when we walk past i don't know if you know i get them mixed up it's kurt b or kurt there's a pdsa there and we went past it and i thought there's some green land i thought right i stopped and put it on and she walked brilliantly so i know now so when i go out tonight i can just put that and put that round the back on the front now i know it was already ready anyway to use so i didn't have to do anything you just put it, it was so easy so yeah folks so I recommend if you've got a dog like mine pull because sometimes because i'm doing the um housekeeping me back because i haven't done that kind of work it's getting used to me back pain and when she pulls it's it's and then you relaxing walking and she pulls for squirrels and after pull because i don't like her chasing the squirrel unless she's off the lead and i don't see she chase then she see another dog she pulls she lunged i call it pulling but they call it lunging so she goes for it and then motorbike she jumps and scooter but today motorbike went past she wanted to i just pull it it's like a horse you know when they're riding the horse and they pull it and it goes that way and that way that's what it's like so yeah that's brilliant 
So, um, yeah, she chewing. Oi! Stop chewing the leg. What are you doing? You're chewing the leg. Yeah, so um, it was good. So next time I, I got day off, I'll go again. Have a look. And this time it should be alright then. When time I see dog, I won't have that aggro. Because I'm not very um strong because she's a strong dog. And a couple of times I fell over. And she pulled me. I fell over. And I fell over here at St. John's Park. She saw a Doberman come down the stairs. I fell over. And I can't, at my age, I can't be keep falling over because one day I'll break someone and then we will take her out. But now it's much easier. See, because even when I was in Birmingham, Paul wouldn't take her out because she put him over and he done his hip. But now, yeah. Because I remember a woman said to me, she said, get one of them arnies. She said, people said, oh, your dog look like all. She said, but it's brilliant. So, yeah. And um, what they call it, head harness, I think. They got the one for the back. I was gonna get that, but that's still the dog will still pull because the back. But the one to control the face, it's a bit because that's where they're 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 more strength. The vet said, it was a bloke on the telly said the dog strength is the neck and the, I think it's the neck and the face. I'm not sure the neck or the face and they pull more. But that was brilliant today. So yeah, I'm happy with me cushion and that top. I might just wash that and hang it up. But the cushion I gotta wash. I might take it down the laundry with the pet stuff. I think he said it was four pounds for that. So, but yeah, folks. So you all have a nice Easter. Um, I'm first time I won't have a lamb dinner, but I've bought some um Tesco some pasta thing. I'll have that today, and then tomorrow I might just have a sandwich from Greg's or something. But at least I'm in Liverpool for Easter, and Paul sent me some money to get some chocolate and. He said, get it. So I went to Chocolate Hotel and I got one of these, um, these, um, chocolate. Because my birthday, I will get five pounds. I might get them now. I got some Chocolate Hotel, more of that velvetizer to make chocolate. And I got this, and it's all little eggs. So, the nice little different sorted eggs. So I'll have that later. And yesterday, I didn't do a video because I was tired. Like I said this morning, I didn't finish till half five because what happened? Because the school holiday, there's a load of kids going to the hotel with the parents. I did 12 rooms and I did, because there was some checkout, so I did, I had six left. And I thought I'll finish this by three or three. And I was doing a roll, one o'clock I had, I thought, yeah, I'll be all right. And I was on the next room and I thought I got, I was on the next room, then I would have had five but then he said, can you do this room? Because they just want top up. Now, top up supposed to be towels, empty the bin, toilet paper, milk, sugar for the tea caddy. Stuff. And he said, oh, can you change the bed and that? And I thought, God, and there was three beds. There was a double bed, two single bed. I had to do that. Top them up. Then I come to my next one. I had the same again, three beds. I had to do that clean. And it was a mess because I found a bottle of wine and cider and um, gin because i said to the bloke oh, he said oh have it he said i said okay so i've got the wine there i'll show it to you um i just thought i'll keep it so what i do i keep it on the windowsill <laughs> i had one yesterday it was um a strong bowl because i drink cider so i'm gonna have that later get some ice from downstairs and then this my birthday coming. I thought, well, just keep it when I get my place. I love to be good for Christmas. And that, that was there, full bottle. And I said to the bloke, and he said, well, just keep it. It's cold because I leave it in the window. He said, have it if you want. So I thought, well, I'll have it. I don't know if it's sweet or what. And then this. And that was people leave it in the room. But I checked and he said, yeah, do you have it. So I, I don't drink him beer. There was a load of beer. And so I took one of these and swapped it for the beer because I like cider. And the one I had was flavour. I think this is orange size. So I love that. I'll get some ice. Because I had the other one yesterday. And they give you a glass. So I'll get some ice with that. And that's me Easter drink. And then my birthday. Hopefully I'll get some wine. Because what I'll do. If I find any wine or anything like that. I'll do it. Because it's sealed. See. It's not even been opened up. And then um, what I do. Birthday thing. I just get them. And then I have a drink. If it's not taste to my liking, it didn't cost me anything. I can just chuck it down the toilet because I like sweet white wine. And Christmas and that when they leave drinks and I take, I can just keep them for Christmas and that. But I don't drink that much. So I'll have that today because it's Easter. And then my birthday, I'll have that. 
if it's nice i'll have a couple of glass i won't drink the whole bottle i'll have a and hopefully i'll have somewhere to live and then i'll just put in the fridge and then have some i don't know what they taste like because i like them lambrini and sweet wine this one i don't know i might have that on midday off pink gin i don't know if it's any good or i might give it to the girl i might take it and give it to one of the girls in work when i got that um I still didn't get me a um, housekeeping yet she's on holiday so yeah so my easter that's what it'd be i might go down the docks later with the dog i can walk and i feel and then wash that i might wash that top and then the cushion i'll have to wash it in the washing machine and then give it a good wash and then put it on the chair and summer and that's it so yeah so like i said folks um i'm happy i'm in liverpool for easter i couldn't believe it I said I messaged her and I said I'm in East I mean Liverpool, Good Friday. And today this tomorrow I'm working. I've got Tuesday, Wednesday off. So what I'm gonna do Tuesday, take her on, just sit here and ring all the estate agent. And then Wednesday just have a relax and walk. I'm here till um the thirteenth. See what I'm doing because I get me I'll get I'll get me wages now, so I'm gonna just pay pay to stop you till i get somewhere so i won't have to walk up and down. it's only going to be problem the saturdays and i said to paul if i haven't got enough if you lend me when i get paid i can pay him because i didn't realize i did um liverpool central yesterday and the bloke said have you signed in because in ours we sign in we sign 10 o'clock on what time we finish or half 10 and what time and he said if you don't sign in you don't get paid and i remembered last time when i did that day i didn't sign in so i wonder if, i bet i didn't get paid for that so I should have got a bit more. Yeah, I bet I didn't get paid for that. I don't know if the girl maybe put it in, but I don't know. So, so yeah, folks. So that's my little Easter, and just gonna relax. And yeah, I'm not um worried now. I straight like I was talking to the girl downstairs. She said it's so hard when you got pet. She said hopefully you get somewhere, and she said at least you've got a roof over your head and you got somewhere to. I said yeah, and I said working for travel lodge. I get. She said that's it. 50 percent so that's good and i went down a couple of times because here you can have your breakfast and i had a breakfast because we pay four pound it's 12 pound but because we work for travelers we get discounted four pound got the little number on you and they looked at me um phone and i've been working there now one month and two weeks so next week so the week after it'd be two months so i've got one more month to go for my probation you see what some people might say oh don't worry if they didn't like you they would have got rid of you no because once the probation is over i won't have to worry i can just don't have to worry about being quick quick i can just do my job even if i'm half three quarter to four i don't worry but when you're like this you're thinking oh, i've got to make sure i don't get no um no bad things said or anything but everybody said i'm good and the lady said you're brilliant she said you're working and you haven't got anywhere to live she said we gotta take our hat off to you so and my friend sharon as you know she's um coming bit back on youtube which is good and everything's all right with her i've always messaged her anyway because she's my friend now i class her as my friend and i message her every day and ask how she is and and she said she don't mind because i said i hope you don't mind me keep messaging she said no i don't mind so because she's my friend good friend and and what was i gonna say oh yeah and she was sent me a video of the scouts talk and i thought oh, that's good. I, I like the way the scouts talk because um the reason is not being funny when i first come to liverpool and i saw hear them talk i thought it was strange and i thought same country it's not like it's a different country. it's the same country but different city because birmingham people say oh the birmingham accent like Paul was saying to me, Birmingham don't have an accent. The accent is from Dudley and Wolverhampton because my mum used to say, when we used to hear Dudley people talk, she used to say to me, they talk like they got a hot potato in their mouth because they go talk quick, quick, quick. But Birmingham, they say Birmingham accent. We don't have an accent. And I said to Paul, true, because I'm, I lived in Birmingham since I was five. I come to this country because my dad was in the army and I come to this country when i was five and i grow up and everybody say i've got like um what they call it they say i've got like a patois talk because my h's drops and that being dyslexic i can't get my words out properly so and 
No, Birmingham just, I don't know, like London's got an accent, the London accent, the Cockney accent. Dudley's got the accent. If you hear, if you put Dudley and hear the way they talk and Wolverhampton, Birmingham, the, the Birmingham don't have accent because it's different. If you listen, Birmingham people talk, proper Birmingham. You go to, you go to the Bullring shopping centre, come off, catch a train, one day catch a train and go to, um, New Street Station and just walk around town and listen to talk. It, it, it's nothing, it's not a, an accent like Liverpool, you can tell the scouts is and, and that, but there's not an accent at all. They got none. So they say, no, you haven't got a Birmingham accent. No, um, she's gone. <laughs> she always come up. And um, I think she's trying to find some way to sit like she did in my flat. Once we get somewhere, you'll be on the videos again, Suki. And she made a mess of this chair. And you, Suki. And no, we don't don't have an accent. So, but I was saying to Sharon, I hope I do pick up the Liverpool accent. I love the Liverpool accent. And the reason I love it is because they cut everything short. They don't like, like the proper English speaking, like Oxford and Cambridge. They talk, I call it posh, they talk posh, so they send, They don't cut it, do they? So like if they say Christmas, they say Christmas. But Scouts say cream bone, which I like. Everything is short, like they say bacon balm instead of a bacon roll, Birmingham bacon roll or sausage roll. But balm, I, I think that's better. I like it. And being dyslexic, we tend to say things back to front. So I was saying to Sharon when I was in Birmingham and I used to talk, when I used to do care work, and I used to go to the service used to, they used to laugh. They used to say, yo, where are you from? I said, well, I'm from Birmingham. She said, no, you've got a funny accent. You you drop your H's because they said black people drop their H's. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. They said, when you talk, you, you your H's drop. And she said, you don't, you drop your words. I said, well, I'm dyslexic. I said, we get the words because at work, I tell them, I said, I said um, because people say to me, don't tell people you can't read and write properly. And I said, it's best because when people know they will help you and if you somebody give you this now and tell you to read it and you can't read it and they say i'm funny i thought you yeah. but when you tell them they will know they understand it's like me when the checkouts i ask them i stand there i say can someone help me with the checkouts because they know i can't do it even brandon is the head there housekeeper and he said no problem and he does it because i said my brain being dyslexic your brain is like a electric vault you don't touch together, you know, like when you put your plugs to to put it together. It's like when you got a plug and you put the wires in and you get a picture with dyslexic people. You put the wires in, no picture because it's not connecting properly. So when you read somewhat, like um, if somebody phoned me now and they tell me a message to give to someone. When I put the phone down and that person come in the room, I forgot what the message is because your brain can't hold it it'd have to be six seven times it's like me now doing this job as i'm doing it doing it maybe next year this time i'll be quicker faster doing things because it take time to i have to keep doing things it's like when i learned to drive i had to keep going over over and everybody was laughing oh it take you three years and ten tests to pass an automatic car but no dyslexic people the brain just can't cope it just it's not connecting it's not working properly so our brain is like a loose wire and it takes time to fit it together. So when it does fit together, we can we can understand everything then. So with them, with Liverpool, when they talk, I can understand. Some of them talk fast and I have to say, what do you say? But all the girls at work, they talk. I know straight because they cut the sentence. They don't say it long like the, like the British proper English, as they call it, Oxford English. They talk the sentence long. When I used to go to the job centre, they would say things. And I thought, well... And they say, at your age, 56, you don't understand. But with Liverpool people, they talk. They just say it straight, short, cut it, and that's better for me. So if I was here when I was younger, I, would, I bet I would have learned to read and write properly because the sentence are better. And on that video, they were saying they cut their sentence, which is better for me, and that's, that's how I like it. I don't like it too because I can't understand. There's someone else... Um, Liverpool people saying they cut the sh sentence short and which is good like oh yeah like when they're happy they say made up which is good you made up but so now um English would say made made up mean make up or made up or something they would, they, they would twist it it's like what get me as well 
is your spelling. Say like hair, the hair on your head and the hair, the fresh hair. They're both spelled different. So the hair on your head is spelled different and the fresh air is spelled different. And it's like knife. My mum always said, why you spell, I don't know you spell knife. And I, I know it's KF, KF something. And my mum said, why does knife have a K for oh, knife, knife? So it's got a K in it, in knife. That's what made me couldn't understand. And when I was at school, they said sound the letters out. I couldn't. And people say sound the H out. I couldn't get it. So, but yeah, so if you look up dyslexic, if you're interested in dyslexic, maybe some of you, I know some of you out there say so you've got um, family and friends who are dyslexic, so you understand. But the ones who haven't, if you go on YouTube and put dyslexic, it tells you how our brain works. It's fascinating to see how our brain. But now me at um, becoming at 57 in a couple of weeks, I, I don't worry, I've lasted this long, so what's the point? There's other ways you can cope, and people now understand, nobody take the piss now. I mean, up here, I've told people I can't read and write. Nobody's took the piss. They just say, oh, shame that, oh, this. But in Birmingham, they used to say, oh, you can't read all them years. They're strange, isn't it? Same country, but different city and different people behave different. So. And scouts of people are very friendly and helpful. And that is true. I can say that because I've been here two months and I found that's true. Now you get some of them like the car boot about the dog. You get that everywhere, don't you? <laughs> she she get me into trouble, you know, this dog. You know, everywhere we go, we get into trouble. Yes, because of you. But now that harness should be all right. But yeah, folks, so um, I'm happy with that. And I've got me so what I'm going to do is, um, for two quid, I thought, yeah. So I'm going to um, wash this and just sleep in it. like a, And then if I can find them, um, because I like me gaming and horror, if I can find a gaming bottom, make it like pajamas. Because my pyjamas I didn't carry with me. I left it in Birmingham in the garage. And I've got the ghost one that glows in the dark. And I've got the... um, What was it? I've got the other leggings. I did have the... um, They did have the... um, Stranger thing upside down one. But it was extra small. I take small. And I thought extra small is going to be a bit tight. And I can't remember what the other pyjamas... I think I only got two. I think I got the ghost one. And this one I think. The PlayStation one. Yeah, because I didn't buy much, but now I'm up here. I've got more access to the shops because in Birmingham I couldn't go certain shop and Paul was driving. He didn't um he didn't go because he had to go to his mom's about then we go shop, it was all over. And she's gone on that window because I've put my food there. <laughs> right, I'll show you the pet. We're still in the same room. And they said because I paid for it, and my sweet ox. So I'll show you the pet. Yes, as you can see, we're still in the same room and I just chuck everything on the floor. And there she is with a little toy and there's much and yes so what i do i put my stuff here because the reason i put it here is because it's cooler look because of the food that's what i'm having today and then i put it away and she smell that see and it's cooler see and i leave the window open so i thought yeah this window don't go you know why because if you got mental issues and you wanted to jump out you couldn't jump out could you so i was looking and up there, I can't even show you. Up there. Up there is where that ship. Yeah, folks, I thought this video is going to be a long video, but I thought, well, I'll make up for yesterday. And um, I don't know if anybody realised, I think I did send it to Sharon, but um, where I work, the strand, they had a fire. Well, a fire alarm. Because when I do the cleaning and do the rooms, people always smoke. They always um, smoke in the rooms. Suki! <laughs> Yes, you're not in that way. So when we get our place, you'll be on the videos again, won't you? Hmm? Yes, you win, isn't it? Okay, so that fur on her. Yes, you're getting jealous. Yes, and there was, um, they had to get everybody out the hotel because there was a fire incident. So, yeah, folks, so that was a good day at the car boot. I enjoyed it. I've got some footage, it didn't get much because of her, but. When I go back again, I can get more because she walks all right now. We're going to go to the docks later. And it'll be, be nice to um, walk, relax now. I don't have to worry about the pulling, seeing dogs. And them skaters, you know them skateboarders. I'm going to have a look around. Right, folks. So you have a lovely Easter. And if you're with your family, have a nice one. Enjoy. And 
enjoy your easter eggs and take care and if you're on your own just um have a walk go out and walk and like me i'm on my own facetime paul but just um enjoy life is too short look at that kind of it, it's just shocking isn't it before i go it's shocking look at this paul already died and he was young and he was supposed to appear in june as honey he was only 60 at 67 then you had that kid from s club died i think he was only 40 and then that um other woman and it died i think she had cancer but it just show you people are dying so young because in the olden days in the victorian age people used to live to be 30 the highest i think they live was 50. it's terrible isn't it so just enjoy your life that's what i did i just um i'm here now i'm not going to stress out about oh got no way to live and that i'm here now and like sharon said on her video she said why would angela want to go back to birmingham true because liverpool is my home now and i love liverpool because it's got everything the history and everything birmingham you go there there's nothing that's what i think birmingham was making me depressed because i used to take the dog out come back go to bed but now i'm getting up now i'm happy to get up now go to work come back take the dog out looking okay i've got no way to live but i'm happy because i'm getting up going to work paying me dues my tax and everything feel better taking my dog out today i went to the car boot back in work tomorrow i, I feel good some people say oh you're mad you feel good you're working yes because it's it's good for, for your mind in birmingham i couldn't get a job because people say oh you can't read you can't i've got to do t test tests and they keep putting me on these training training and i was getting depressed and i was starting i want to die and just don't want to wake up i just want to die die I come here i haven't had any of that kind of thing. even i went through that that one time when i felt so bad i wanted to jump in the mersey river and the next day i got the job and everything but now i'm feeling all right now so oh fingers crossed i think i'm gonna get somewhere soon because i'm feeling that happiness i got a feeling that something is gonna come soon and like i said i'm just gonna I've spread the word i even tell people it down here the staff down here i've told people so you never know and and i know there's people on youtube looking i know sharon is looking and rachel and everyone so anybody see anything they just let me know but yeah so i think i'm hopefully my birthday i'll have my keys that'd be a best present so yeah folks so i know this video is going to be long and take care like i said have a lovely easter with your family and just enjoy don't worry and um life is too short just enjoy and yeah that car boot is quite good it's like the one in town we used to have with all the stuff but i'm glad because i was after that cushion and i got that and i'm glad i got that it was the best seven because when he said eight pound i thought oh and then he said seven pound i thought I suppose it don't fit what i'm gonna do and i thought oh, i'll just get it and i'm glad i did because i thought i'm gonna try it and i walk back because we I catch the bus down to um the car boat because you couldn't miss it because it, when the bus come you could see people so i got off there the bus didn't have to because i said to him you got you see yeah and i come off it and then when we come back i thought i'll give her a nice walk give her because when i'm at work she's in here and when i come back i'm tired i only give her a little walk around so i thought yeah and then later later on when i saw everything i might go down the docks give her another walk so she's got a nice walk because i'm in tomorrow and don't know what time i finish don't know how many rooms i get so yeah so that's it folks so i'll catch you again tomorrow and you have a lovely day enjoy watch the old films and take care and cheers mm -hmm.